So a couple of weeks ago, it was announced that Cliff Kingsbury would be the next coach of the Arizona Cardinals. In classic internet fashion, every move has to be the dumbest move ever or the smartest move ever, so this move was highly criticized. However, I personally kind of like it. I think to be successful in any sports league, but especially in the NFL, you have to be willing to take chances, and Kingsbury is definitely willing to take chances. One of the things I really liked that his teams would do at Texas Tech was their creativity. Like take this play for example, there's actually going to be four receivers all lined up on the top half of the screen. This is a very unusual formation. Teams don't run this formation at all, and so the entire focus of this Oklahoma State defense is going to be focused at the top half of the screen. However, the real guy to watch is the receiver at the bottom half of the screen who's going to be running a pretty standard out route straight to the end zone. Couldn't be more simple. If you look, the defender who's in charge of guarding that area of the field is looking at the quarterback. He's ready for a potential quarterback run or somehow for there to be a sweep going in that direction. This is the type of play you would never see in the NFL. And I also think it's pretty fair to say this is the type of play that wouldn't work in the NFL. When you get to the NFL, defenses are so smart and defensive players are so smart that they're not going to get fooled very often on these types of plays. So this play probably wouldn't work out as well in the NFL as it does in college. However, Kingsbury knows he's going against a college defense on this play. So I don't think it's fair to say that because this play probably wouldn't work in the NFL, that means that his scheme probably won't work in the NFL, because he can fit his scheme to be an NFL type scheme. I'll show you another play, and this is another very creative type play that this offense is going to run. The first thing that's going to happen here is the quarterback and halfback are both going to fake to the top half of the screen, which is going to cause two linebackers to also creep up to that top half of the screen. And then from there, they can simply just hand the ball off to a tight end who's going to be running down to the bottom of the screen and then all they have to do is have a receiver and another tight end make their one-on-one -on -one blocks and that's all that needs to be done on this play. If a linebacker wasn't fooled on this fake then it could be very bad news and it could end up being not a touchdown. However, both linebackers were fooled and both guys who got to make one-on-one -on -one blocks do an okay job. One actually doesn't do a very good job of making a block. However, he didn't have to. It was still a touchdown because of the good play design. A lot of people are going to say, well, this is college. This wouldn't work in the NFL. The talent is much better in the NFL. But I do kind of think that these kind of things still can work in the NFL. To me, it shows that Kingsbury is going to be willing to try things when he gets to the NFL level, which I think is a huge key in being a successful head coach. Those first two plays were pretty clear and pretty obvious what the creativity part of it was. However, I think this one was kind of deceptively really creative and really smart. What you're going to see happen here is Texas Tech is going to have both their left guard and tackle be pulled over to the bottom half of the screen. This is typically a sign that it's going to be a run to that bottom half of the screen, so you're going to expect a quarterback run type play here. However, that's just a fake. It's actually going to be a handoff to the top half of the screen. And now, as you see, all that has to happen if you can get past that initial line of defense is you need your tight end and two receivers to all make one-on-one -on -one blocks with plenty of space to make those blocks, and it could be an easy touchdown. As you see, it starts off working perfectly, as all the linebackers are focused focused on that quarterback down at the bottom of the screen. That means the only thing Texas Tech has to worry about here is the defensive line. If their half pack can get past that defensive lineman, it's going to be an easy touchdown. However, if he can't, they'd probably lose a couple of yards on this play. It's a risky play. I mean, this could easily end up being a loss of a couple of yards, and now it's second and goal from the 10-yard line. However, if it works, it's going to be a touchdown, so that's why Kingsbury is calling this play call. It's a bold call, and I like coaches that are going to make bold calls. I'd much rather have a Kingsbury-led offense than the offense that was led last year. While I personally am never in favor of firing a head coach after just one season, I kind of got it with Arizona. The entire staff really just wasn't coaching right, and this play is a good example. As you see on a play like this, Arizona has two tight ends in the game and two backs in the game, so all signs are clearly pointing towards a run on this play. They do end up running it, and it goes for two yards, which to me, I just don't understand the point of this play whatsoever. You already know the weakness of your team is your offensive line, so the best way to get good runs with a bad offensive line is by fooling opposing defenses, not by just giving away the fact that you are going to run the ball. It was basically just donating a down and creating a second down and eight and really best case scenario was second down and five and that's best case scenario I mean that probably wouldn't have even happened that's pretty optimistic for a second down and five situation to occur after a play like this because your opposing defense now knows that it's going to be a run play it's just not a smart play call at all and this happened a lot for Arizona throughout the season that's a lot of reason why I don't hate this idea to get a new head coach I think it makes a decent amount of sense and I do like Kingsbury and what he'll bring to this offense and I think he'll at least be willing to take chances 
I do still think that there is one problem with this Arizona offense with Kingsbury in it, and that's the fact that they greatly need some improvements on that offensive line. Take a look at this play, for example. As you see, it's going to be a cover four zone, and those that are roused that the Arizona Cardinals receivers will be running. And if you look, there will be a point where a receiver gets open right about there, but to allow that receiver to be open for a longer period of time, they're going to be running play action on this play. And they also have an extra tight end blocking, which should help them buy more time for Rosen to be able to get the ball to the receiver who could be open. So as you see, they do fake the play action, and it's working out pretty well. There is going to be a gap right past those linebackers that is going to get open. But the problem is in basically no time at all, Josh Rosen is currently getting sacked by Aaron Donald. And I know people will say, well, yes, Aaron Donald, he does that from time to time. But the reality is, they play in the same division as Aaron Donald. This is an easy first down that got taken off the board because they couldn't make blocks and that's a big deal in an offense You need guys to be able to make blocks if you're gonna be successful in this league So they're going to need some upgrades on the offensive line that being said I think if they do upgrade this line it could be a very good thing for Arizona and I could easily see Josh Rosen having a Jared Goff-esque situation where he looks like a bust after his first season and then looks very good after his second season